get started. Thank you, Megan. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, thanks for joining today. My name is Catherine Temple, and I'm a senior informatics consultant here at Seesaws. Just a little bit about my background. Um, academically, uh, my training is in genetics and organic chemistry. I've spent some time in both pharmaceutical QC and R&D labs doing chemical analysis and method development, and then moved um, more into manufacturing and lab management and, and then into informatics, focusing on, on efficient processes and master data management. And I've been working on and off with LabManage in multiple different um, industries since about 2015. I am uh, fundamentally a process person, so a lot of what you'll see today is, is very process-based, but I'll explain how that feeds into uh, getting your master data organized. And Rebecca is also on the line. Hi, thank you, Catherine. Um, yes, I'm Rebecca Ashley. I'm also a senior informatics consultant with CSOLS. Um, is in my way. Uh, um, my specialty is more on the IT side of things. I came through IT. I used to work for LabVantage many years ago, and I still love the product, and it's my favorite limbs. I admit that every time. Um, I've uh, now been uh, with LIMS for over 20 years and over six in informatics consulting, specifically working with all kinds of labs, uh, process, pharmaceutical, clinical, hybrid clinical life sciences, and lately uh, genomics is taking off a storm. So uh, all in all, it's, um, that's my background. Uh, I'll pass it back to Catherine. Thank you, Rebecca. So today we're going to go over um, just a general overview of master data and LabVantage and some ways to to plan for that and things to consider. And then we'll transition into how that static data or master data impacts um, not only dynamic data, but automation. And then Rebecca is going to talk to us about some more, some less process focused and more um, technical focused import options and data files and, and how you can use um, these tools and web services to uh, capture data from external systems and bring it into the lens um, in an efficient manner. So um, what is LabVantage Master Data? So Master Data is, is the framework on on which your specific lens is configured. So it's 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 another layer on top of say the framework of the, the lens database. Um, the blessing and the curse of LabVantage is that it's extremely flexible um, and there's just so many different things that you can do with it and ways that you can set up your master data and configure the system um, to make it do a million different things. So with that in mind, I've tried to focus today on a specific scenario, and that scenario is, um, is a, a QC lab in a pharmaceutical manufacturing environment. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be limited to QC, but the, the inputs and outputs are specific to manufacturing. So we receive raw materials, we test those raw materials and, and release them for use in manufacturing. Um, this is especially pertinent when you've got an ERP system where you don't wanna um, use raw materials that have been that have not been, say, QC tested or should still be quarantined. Um, and Rebecca will touch a little bit, I think, on, on that kind of passing that information back and forth between, say, SAP or a different ERP and LEMS. So we're going to do that for all of our raw materials, and then we're going to perform our manufacturing steps, which will have some, you know, process, process dependent gateways that depend maybe on sampling. And, you know, we release and review this material for all our production steps. And finally, we, we want to output our packaged finished good test and sample those, and then review and release them so we can ultimately get paid for them. And so then where we're, we're focusing on this QC lab is that second row where we're doing that sampling and testing. Um, more specific to this scenario I'll talk about today is LabVantage Pharma Master Data. So LabVantage Pharma or LVP is a specific pre-validated pharma template. Um, and it includes as part of the setup, five products. Um, 
that lab manager will help you set up in the system. And there's there's often some confusion around you know, what constitutes a product. So I wanted to start here with with explaining what one of these five products is. And so in this example, we have got our miracle drug, C salsafin, and um, we'll have clients who maybe make a, a finished good at a 50 mg dose or 100 mg dose. And they would think that, you know, well, it's all C salsafin. So we're going to, Lab Manage will set up all the testing for, for both of those doses. And that is not the case. So all the testing, just to go back one slide. So for our C salsafin finished good, all this testing here would be included in the the fifth product in this case, which is C salsafin. This testing here for just one of the raw materials, that would be a second product. And the same for the, the work in progress. So this particular example, this example client has chosen um, C cells to all, which is a, a, a raw material. We've got two, we've got a, a work in progress material as our second product, a bulk API as a third product, um, a drug product as our fourth product, and then our C cells as our fifth product. Um, I wanted to, to go through this as probably, it's not news to too many people, but I wanted to make it clear um, before I got started, kind of what we were looking at, and and that this I'm going to limit my talk to LV Forma Master Data just for the sake of simplicity. 